has come over. I'm not the same no more, God. I got a new heart, a new mind, a new talk, a new walk. Change has come over. That's mighty nice. Yeah, come on. That's mighty nice. When we think about that. the way we used to be. Come on. I know the old saying, we not all we should be, but thank God we're not who come on. we used to be. Yeah. God has Bless the power his name. Come on. to change. There's a caveat to that song, Carla. I don't want to go back. Come on. I shall not go back the way I used to be. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Marcel, I can give a benediction. We can just go. Amen. Amen. Shall we stand to receive the word of God? I'm going to ask the children be dismissed. The young ladies to my left, the young men will be downstairs. All the teachers should be uh, in place, or they soon will be. Uh, the, young, the youth will be, the teen, or the children will be to my right. And Teresa, I had a moment, I stepped away to holler, and I saw the lesson on the board. I think we might want to be in her room today. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. But thank God for our teachers. Y'all, let's give them a hand. And Amen. thank them for teaching our children Amen. for their preparation and their proclamation. We know that it will be pleasing to the Lord. Amen. Before I begin. I want to open up in prayer again, and I just want us to take a moment to lift up a child, Delani, Roddy, Massey, Madre, thank you. I want, I want to take a moment to lift her up, lift the grandparents up who are here, to Paul and to Coco and Amen. to the relatives to the doctors and nurses. Father, in Jesus' name, yes. power of your spirit on our hearts right now yeah. is, is Delani, God, Roddy, Madre. And God, we use specification because if we just said Delani, you would touch all of them. But just her, God. We ask that you strengthen her that we already know you're with her. We thank you for the doctors, God, yes. the nurses, God, yes. for, for their minds and their hearts, God. We pray that you direct their path, God. Yes. Direct their, their fingers, God. Yes. Direct their hearts and their minds, God. And heal her in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Thank you for her parents, God. Yes, Lord. We ask that you continue to give them strength. Yes, yes, Lord. And God, for the grandparents who were here, for Roger and Teresa, yes, that you prop them up yes, and speak Lord. peace to them, God. Hallelujah. In the midnight hour, when it's just them and you. Yes. And God, our prayer is that you would bring her home. Yes. Yes. Healthy, God. Please, Heal, Lord. God. Hallelujah. And deliver, God. Yes. Yes. We pray for her brother as well. Yes. We're thinking about him. We're thinking about Pooh, God. We call him Pooh. Yeah, we, we touch him too, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And Father, we know now at this hour yes. that your word is set to go forth. Yes. We thank you for Judah praise again. Yes. For the wonderful selections you've given them. Yes. The table has been set. Yes. And now, God, we know that your word mm. Once it goes forward, yeah. it shall accomplish yeah. all you set it out to do. Yeah. We know that it can rescue a sinner. Yeah. We know that you can reclaim a backslider. Yeah. And God, we know that you can give residence, yeah. fellowship to yeah. someone looking for you in this hour. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Somebody needs to be lifted up, God. Yes, Lord. The burden is heavy. Touch them, Lord. The load is heavy. Yeah. And God, they want to know, is there a word yes. from the Lord? Come on. And so, Father, the table is set. Hide us behind your cross. Yes. Keep us under the dripping of your blood. Yes. Cross our hearts and our minds. Write these words uh, that are found in the gospel uh, according to John uh, 12th chapter, 21st yes. verse. Yes. Sir, we yes. would see Jesus. Yes. Lift him up, God. Mm. 
whom the clan of I be lifted Come on. I'll draw all men. All men. Unto myself. Come on. Change. God. Somebody needs a change. Yeah. Somebody needs a breakthrough. Yeah. Somebody needs a healing. Yeah. Somebody needs a deliverance. Yeah. Move God. Please, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. And for his sake we pray. Mm. Mm. Amen. 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 To the 77th Psalm. Amen. And I shall be reading from verses 1 through 12 from Amen. the King James Version. Amen. We shall not be wrong. Amen. Psalm, the 77th chapter, verses 1 through 12. Mm. The King James Hallelujah. Version. One more time for the Holy Spirit and for Amen. those who are still turning. The 77th Amen. Psalm, verses 1 through 12. The King James Version. Yeah. I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. Yeah. In the day of my trouble, yeah. I sought the Lord. My soul ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled, Lord oh, have mercy. Mm -hmm. I complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. Thou holdest my eyes waking, mm -hmm. and I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, and my spirit made diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever? And will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone forever? Doth his promise fail forevermore? Have God forgotten to be gracious? Have he in anger shut up his tender mercies? And I said, this is my infirmity. But I will remember the years of right hand of the Most High. Mm. I will remember the works of the Lord. Yes. Surely I will remember Amen. thy wonders of old. Amen. And I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence Amen. of the Most High God. For a brief moment, we continue in our series, uh, Who Am I? Uh, the Stewardship series. Uh, two words uh, I want to use this morning and God has directed our path. Uh, but one word is remember. Just one word, remember. Find a neighbor and softly say remember. Now get loud in your playground voice and say neighbor! neighbor. Oh neighbor! Oh, neighbor. Remember. 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 It would be safe church. Karen, it would be no harm. Kari would be no foul and no going out on a limb, Roger, in fear it would break. Uh, Drew, it would be no far stretch, Christina, to say, in all our lives. Uh, Skip, there are times and there are moments, Carla, and there are situations, Doc Carlton, uh, circumstances throughout our lives. We've all had at least two types of memories. Mm. We remember the good times, mm. yes. and then we remember the bad times. Yeah. That's right. Memory, my method, is a system or a process that uh, I store uh, what we learn uh, for future use. A memory caller is information uh, processing system, Henrietta. Uh, therefore, we often compare it to a computer. Amanda, memory is a set of processes, Elderberry. Used to encode, used to store, and used to retrieve information, LP, over different periods of time. Mm. Carla, I went to Google, and, and, and Google told me that encoding involves the input of information into the memory system. Mm. Storage, uh, Tim, is, is the retention of the encoded information. 
and retrieval, Roger. Listen to this for getting the infor information, Mom Teresa, uh, out of the memory and back into awareness is the third function. But what Google did not tell me, what Google failed to inform me, unless I misread or didn't read it, uh, there is a fourth function, uh, Joe Baby, uh, and, and that is selective memory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, here we have it, don't shout too soon, sometimes, depending on who it is, mm -hmm. what they have done or not done, Christine, I see you moving already, what they did or didn't do, uh, what they said, uh, Gigi, or have not said, uh, and when we thought it, it should have been done, this way or that way, you know I'm talking about a Frank Sinatra moment. They didn't do it your way. Uh, uh, we have selective memory, Roger. Uh, and Sharita, we get on the, the Ray Charles moment. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. I want to be proper. Hit the road, Jane. Okay. Mm, come on. Both sides of the street. Come on now. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more. We soon forget, Ralph, that those who have been uh, in a long time relationship with us sometimes do not always do what we think they should do. Mm. All right, I got a few amens. Uh, you're in a relationship, you can say amen, and they sit next to you, I'll take you home. <laughs> What we want, or, or, or Roger, they don't do what we believe, uh, and the truth is, they have that right. It's the choice is theirs. And too often we forget and fail to remember that there were times when, uh, Baba, they responded favorably to our request. Mm -hmm. We forget, uh, and they follow through with our desires. We forget that they met our need, but let it be just the one time they don't respond the way we think they should. We're soon mad at them, don't want to talk to them. I feel like preaching this morning. Marcella, is it just me and you here today, Keith? Is it just us here? We don't want to talk to them. Dale, I see you now, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they didn't take care of the one moment, we get all upset. Pack up our marbles, Tim, and we want to go to another room in the house. Take a ride in the car, I'll be back. <laughs> hey, you talking Let right. me talk to Facebook family Come on. Come on, I can't get no help in this house. <laughs> help us, Jesus. But it's that one time, that moment, Joe, baby, that one situation or that one circumstance, we cry, we complain, and we think they aren't listening. They haven't responded. They haven't said anything back. Silence is on the menu. They are totally muted, and we haven't heard anything. No sentence, no word, no noun, no verb, no adverb. I got any teachers in the house. No pronoun, no prepositional phrase, not even a syllable. Nothing. Mm. <laughs> Setting it up. Yeah. Mm. Setting up you right. know it's when you. Text someone. Let me hit home mm, back. Come on. 21st century. Come right? on. You know when you text someone, Marcella, and you're in a relationship with them, and you send a text, and you watch the phone, <laughs> and you wait, and you watch, and you wait, and you watch, and you wait. Come on, Carlton. Mm. And you watch, and then and you wait, and then Rob right Dan wrote you back. Listen, in one minute, and you we all upset. So you know what we do next, Mom Hamilton? Since they ain't gonna answer my text, let me call you. Yeah. And then Helen, let me go on step. And then we get voicemail. Now you know we done lost it. They ignored me. They see me texting them. They won't pick their phone up, right? They got call ID. They know it's me. And after 20 calls and 30 texts, Sean, you better look here, bro. Listen, maybe <laughs> Bob got contact. Listen, Skip, after 30 calls and 20 texts, all of a sudden we call one, just the last time I'm going to call them, girl, and they better pick up. And then they pick up, and here's the deal, Roger. They be like, okay, when I was busy and I am at work, what did you want? Nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to hear your voice. Right. Oh, I'm all right now. All right now. Can I just walk over? Listen, I see you losing it right here. 
I ain't wanted to sing. <laughs> I just needed to hear your voice. <laughs> you know, you done went through that fatal attraction moment. I will not be ignored. <laughs> 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 this side is swinging over here. So, so, so listen, church. I, I just want to see what you would do. I just didn't want anything. And so God, after the horizontal moment, Carla, in his infinite wisdom, has drawn our attention to this text, read in our hearing. And Roger, somewhere, uh, someone who is in a relationship with God, uh, has sent a text message. Ah, come on. They have sent God a prayer come on. request. Yeah. They have petitioned God. Come on, God. They've been up all night and they've been crying all night and, and, and they've been complaining all night and God hasn't responded. Come on. <laughs> Lord have mercy. God appears to be silent. You ever have that God type of moment? Uh, God appears to be on mute. He appears to be absent. I haven't gotten to the text yet. He appears to be absent. And, and, and when, he, when, he, when the psalmist in our text needs God in his moment of trouble, anybody have a moment of trouble? Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a post, you have one. And if you haven't, keep waiting, keep living. One's coming. Amen. He's appearing in a moment, Mom Teresa. He's operating in a, a moment, uh, what babyface call momentarily insanity. <laughs> Y'all got some R&B folks in the house. Come on. Suffering from momentary insanity. Oh, hallelujah. I better get out of that lane, Hillary. Here comes our definition. I think we're ready to roll now, Roger. Here's our definitions for remember. Having or be able to bring to one's mind an awareness or someone or something that one has seen, one has known, or one has experienced in the past. To be capable of recalling when required. To keep in mind, to be continually aware or thoughtful of, and lastly, the process of recalling the past. Here are our synonyms for our English extraordinaire etymologists. Uh, recall, recollect, think of, put a name to, commemorate, look back, remind, educe, elicit, retain, memorize, refresh memory, fix in the mind, ring a bell, summon up, cite, and call to mind. Here are our quotes for today. Pay attention to the one on my right or your left or whatever you're looking at in the box. God has been God in my life ever since I can remember. <laughs> Stop remembering what God has forgotten. <laughs> God loves you unconditionally. Always remember that no matter what situation you are in. That's right. When you've done all you can, remember God can do all that you can't. Yes. Remember God in prosperity, and he will remember you in adversity. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Remember the same God who started the good work in your life is the same God who will complete it. Yes. Amen. And here are our takeaways from our text. But let me give some brief historicity and move forward. This 77th Psalm Church Dakari, the author is Asaph. And GG, it is a period of time where the psalmist or the people of God, you need to listen to this, were experiencing something bad that had happened in their lives. Mm -hmm. The narrative was written because it appears, Amanda, as though God is sovereign. Uh, and, and God has allowed Christina this bad thing to happen, and he is silent when there is a cry for his help. Huh. The psalmist, Mom Teresa, uh, has brought his thoughts, Karen, to the altar, and he marries uh, his thoughts uh, 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 to the brief belief that perhaps God has forgotten him and his people. It is while the psalmist is waiting for God's response to his cry, he's waiting for God's response to his complaint, and waiting for God's response to his cause, that he finds confidence in, who am I? Remember. Here's the first takeaway from the text. A cry for compassion from despair and distress. A cry for compassion 
from despair and distress. Verses 1 and 2. I don't know about your B-I-B-L-E, but mine in this King James Version, the first two words in the text is all capital letters. Does yours read that way? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the reason why that is is because the psalmist wants to place emphasis on the fact that he has been crying for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me move forward, Roger. So in the beginning of the text, we quickly identify with the intensity of the emotion expressed by the psalmist. The first two words, I'm repeating it, are all capital letters. And you know you've been taught... Uh, when you write an email uh, uh, to be correct and to be polite uh, and not to capitalize all your letters. Because that means you're angry or you're mad or you're upset. But if this is the case where he's been crying all night and he wants us to know and God to know that he, this is just not a couple of tears, he's been at it for some time. And so the Bible says he's emphasizing the seriousness of the moment. Not only that the record declares he identifies with the only one who is able to help him in his hour of crying. So he gave God his voice. Verse 2 says God gave his ear. God heard and God was listening, Henrietta, as he voiced to him his despair and his distress. In his church, in his day of trouble, and the Hebrew word is important for us to look at trouble because he is in a tight place. A place there where he can't move left or right, mm. he can't go back or forwards, he can't go north, he can't go south, he can't go east, he can't go west. He's stuck right there in the midst of his trouble. Yes. Mm. He has affliction. This is anguish and this is his tribulation. And the word declares he called the President of the United States. Mm -hmm. yeah. The word says he called the Congress. Mm -hmm. The word says he dialed up the Senate. He dialed up the local officials, the county officials. No, he didn't call Franklin County. He didn't call Fairfield County. He simply called the Lord. That's right. But what's interesting in the text, it says his hand, or the word my sore, he's talking about his hand or his direction. He's actually referring to his prayer. Mm. Ran into the night. You need to hear this. Mm. Right. He just didn't sit down at the altar saying he said a couple words and stop. This is all night. I hear Lionel Richie in the background. Come on now. <laughs> this is all night long. Man. And it never stopped. His soul, which is the only part caller of him that can commune with God, right. watch this, refused to be comforted and refused to calm down. You ever had those nights where you up all night because of trouble? Mm -hmm. yeah. No matter how you try to sleep, I wish I had some witnesses. Come on. Trouble won't let you sleep. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Marcella, keep, keep listening to this. We are not informed what kind of trouble it is. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you think about that? Do you think that they would put, Christina, the type of trouble... He's dealing. Why didn't they just write what type of trouble? Did you ever have that question? I don't know. I, I want to know, if it, is it the trouble with my finances? Put it in there. Yes. If it's the trouble with my spouse, put it in there. Is it trouble with my children? Why don't you just put it in there, Psalmist? So when I can turn to this page, and the reason why he, does somebody help me? The Come reason on. why he doesn't put it in there, because it is dealing with any kind. Yes. Come on. Come on. What he's saying is God is not limited. Come on now. When it comes to I don't care what you're dealing with. Amen. Is this mic on? Yes. All right, come on. It's the kind of trouble he was experiencing uh, and the effects of the trouble it was causing. It caused him to seek the Lord day and night mm -hmm. and cease not, and his soul refused to be comforted or calm down. Mm -hmm. One thing we can all agree as I walk through this text is that sometimes, Roger, Teresa, trouble just shows up uninvited. There you go. Yeah. 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 
Trouble doesn't stand at the door and knock and let you in. Trouble doesn't ask you to RSVP kindly. Trouble doesn't care if you're ready or you're not. Trouble comes, Carla, in all kinds of ways, all kinds of shapes, all kinds of forms. And then the reality of trouble is one size doesn't fit everyone. Come on, man. I'm going to preach in a minute. <laughs> trouble shows up whether we ask for it or not. And it has propensity to stay, Mom Sandy, as long as it wants to. Mm -hmm. Trouble never leaves in a timely manner. Oh, Lord have mercy. All of us, Doc Carlton, from the podium to the pulpit and the parking lot, and all points in between have at some time, some place, somewhere in our journey, have experienced a day and a night. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the whole, that's 24 hours. Come on. And our souls refused, Joe baby, to be comforted where we cried out to the Lord, pouring our hearts out to God in prayer, pleaded with God, petitioned God for ourselves. We desire comfort for our souls, mm -hmm. but we can't find any help because trouble continues to haunt us and wreak havoc, and God, please hear our compassion Come on. And, try and deliver us from our despair yeah. and our distress. Amen. Have compassion on us, God. Amen. Who am I? I'm just getting warmed up. Hmm. Remember, number next, a cause for complaint believing distance from the divine. Uh, not only Carlton is there a cry for compassion from despair and distress, here comes a cause for complaint. Hmm. Believing distance from the divine. Hmm. Verses 3 through 9, if you're keeping score, and just follow along, and I'll try to walk through them one by one. The psalmist says, watch this church, Facebook family, don't turn me off. He, he says, remember, uh, he remembered God and was troubled. That's good. He's reflecting on the goodness the kindness, and the favor of God was, it, was in his present moment like it was towards him in the past. He's asking God that what you've done in the past, I'm asking for you to do the same right now. Elder Barry, he has, this is where the text switches. You've got to pay attention here. He moves from a cry to a complaint. Mm -hmm. Because, Gail, God didn't respond right away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God didn't remove the trouble right away. And God had left him where he was after he cried and cried and cried and cried and poured out his whole heart day and night. His prayer, church, over his trouble and poured out his heart to God. Listen, not only left him troubled, but the text says his spirit was overwhelmed. The problem gets even worse. He thinks of God, and the thought of it does not help him a bit. It only makes him worse and causes him to moan. It increases his anguish, and he cries out all the more. Let me set this up. He tries to think about God, but his spirit faints within him and feels him growing weaker by that minute, always and almost out of it. So the text says, I told you it got worse, he tries to sleep, but the word says his eyelids refuse to close. Mm -hmm. If you're reading it, and all, he's going to lie with Richie, and all night long, mm -hmm. he tosses and he turns and messes anguish and sleepless. And finally, not only does he sleep, he is rendered absolutely speechless. He can't even describe the problem if God was listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word says he can't even talk. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. If we are honest, this is often what distresses us. This is what causes us despair. It's not so much the fact that we must go through difficult times and pressing circumstances, Marcella, but what gets to us is the moments like this are when we pray and ask God for help. Mm. Nothing yeah. seems to happen. Amen. Every time we enter a period of struggle, when we enter a period of pressure, when we enter a period of unhappiness and circumstances, we're exposed to severe and pressing temptation and doubt turns into distance. We just want to know, 
God, why won't you mm. Mm. Yeah. You're talking right. Come on. Lift it him all up. seems to come to yes. us. Lift him up. Sharita. So logically that this is experience this man is having. Like a drowning man, he's grasping like us at every straw that comes by. He's tried prayer. It mm. doesn't work. Mm. He is non-responsive and nothing within lifts the burden of his heart. Ray Fowler helped me explain a little bit deeper, and I quote, he decides now to try something else, something that very likely had been suggested to him by some well-meaning counselor. You know those kind you lay up on the couch with a thousand dollars now? <laughs> and they tell me, tell me what's going on, Nathan, and tell me your problem. And the problem is you a thousand dollars lighter, and you're still walking out with the same problem. Come on now. Come on. You tell them the truth. Yeah. Or you try yourself. Mm. You the counselor with the problem. <laughs> you can't wait to <laughs> Maybe that's me, Karen. I, I'm going to try to fix it. I'm just going to talk myself through it. I'll get an answer. I'm leaving God. I, I don't need you now. Lord have mercy. So, so if you're following along in verses 7 through 9, he begins to look for answers. Mm. Oh, this text is so easy. And when none had been located or found, he turns to six rhetorical questions. Rhetorical is simply that he already knows the answer, but he's going to ask them anyway. Mm -hmm. And so what he says in the text, and, and I digress, and let me move from that to the scripture because this is huge. Here are the six rhetorical questions. Will the Lord cast off forever? Mm. One. Two. And will he be favorable no more? Three. Is his mercy clean? Listen. Clean gone forever? Mm. Four, does his promises fail forevermore? Mm. Five, have God forgiven to have forgotten to be gracious? And six, having in anger shut up his tender mercies. <laughs> <laughs> Sit with that for a moment. You already know the answers. Mm -hmm. If you know God and you've been in a relationship with him, Christina, somebody take time and read that text when you get down and out and ask those rhetorical questions, because this is what the psalmist did. And then he comes to this conclusion. Oh, I couldn't wait to get here, Carlton. He says, I have analyzed. You know how we do it. I, I've analyzed so much. Do you know what, what, what uh, uh, paralysis is by analysis? You ever heard of that? Mm -hmm. That you can analyze, overanalyze, overanalyze so much that it paralyzes you? Yeah. You will, thank you. You don't move. And so he's in a, he's in a paralyzed moment and understanding that I, oh, I have analyzed my situation. I tried prayer all night long. In the past, I've been, I, I, you know what, I remember God when you used to help me, mm -hmm. but now you won't. For some odd reason, you stopped. Am I talking almost somebody's street, Amanda? I remember when you used to come through, God, and now it seems like you've left me all by myself in this one moment. I've been texting you, God, all day long. I've been calling you, God. I've left messages, God, and you won't answer none of that. God, you used to come through. You used to make my heart sing. But it's empty now. My heart is barren and cheerless now. And he says, why is this? And then the text changes. There's a change in the narrative, church. If you're reading verse 10, you can sense it coming. He says, my conclusion. Let me read verse 10, Jordina. He says, and I said, after those six questions, after paralysis by analysis, he says, and I said, watch this, Carla, this is my infirmity. See, you may not have caught it yet, but I'm going to help here. Holy Ghost, help us in this out. Watch this. He says, this is my infirmity. Tap a neighbor and say, neighbor, this is my infirmity. Find a neighbor who calls down and say, neighbor, neighbor, this is my sickness. This is my infirmity. This is my ICU. I put myself in the hospital. I drove up the Mount Carmel and got out the car because Dr. Jenkins, what I was thinking was stinking, thinking. And now I'm at the emergency room and I've checked into the ICU. This is my sickness. I probably they may not catch it yet, but watch what he does with this moment. He says, this is my infirmity. What he's saying is, perhaps I have misjudged God. Mm. Perhaps 
Perhaps I, I didn't think clearly about God. Perhaps I was thinking that God had changed. Perhaps I think that God didn't care anymore. He says, therefore, I am driven to the irresistible conclusion that God has moved. And then he thought about it. Wait a minute. 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 God hasn't moved. Mm, come on. I have. Come on. Tell it. Let me get to my last point. Because I got to bring it home now. I'm all pumped, uh, Jordana. Not only is there a cry for compassion from despair and distress, a cause for complaint relieving distance from the divine, here is a confident call to remembrance to remove doubt and despondency. Hmm, that's a mouthful, preacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's what he says in verse 10. But, <laughs> see every now and you have a but in your life. <laughs> you got to have a but. The narrative should be changed. Come on. There should be no matter whatever, no matter whoever, Come on. I don't care the situation or the circumstance, Keith, I have a butt in my lifestyle now. Yeah. That I know that once I stop crying, Come on. and once I stop complaining, and yeah. once I stop crying, and once I co stop complaining, but I need to get to the moment that I remember like the psalmist says, watch what he says, I will. Mm. Yeah. The Corey, that's an affirmation. Yeah. I will, Roger, that's assertion. I will, that's his declaration. I will, that's his proclamation. Yeah. I will, that's his attestation. Come on. I will, that's his confirmation. On, and I will, here comes his testimony. Mm. I will remember the years. Yeah. Somebody needs to identify with what we just said. Yeah. He says, I will remember the years. And if you notice, there is no numerical context or content with how many years. That's right. Mm. Right. You can't remember back that far. That's how right. long God has been with you mm. and God has carried you and God has brought you through. He says, I remember in years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mom, I, I got to go deep. I got to throw a bomb right now. We down. Mm -hmm. we, need, we need to help Jesus. <laughs> we got to throw Jesus now. Somebody needs to know that. The psalmist didn't say Michael McDonald minute by minute. <laughs> He didn't say half hour by half hour, one hour by one hour, one day by one day, one week by one week, one month by one month. In fact, uh, Carlton, he's not even a seasonal psalmist. Mm. Now, folks, I'm like, this is my season. Well, what happens out of season? Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is my year. What happened last year? This is my time. What about right now? Skip, folks, crack me up. You know, preacher, this is my season. <laughs> Before you uttered that, God still was in your season. Come on, man. Let me how do you set somebody free? Boy, he doesn't tell us how many years. And so the Spirit said to me, listen, son, he's talking about as far back as your finite mind can remember, that's how long. Mm. I hear Jason Nelson, Hillary, forever is a long time. That's how long God's going to love you. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. He says, and then he qualifies, he says, your right hand. Don't miss it. I see the theologians are on, on target now, Carl. They shout right about here. Church, he says, his right hand. If you know anything about God and his right hand, that's the right hand of blessing. That's the right hand of favor. That's the right hand of divine influence upon our hearts. And he qualifies it further. He says, and God, you are the most high. You're Elion. You're the supreme. I'm not talking about Diana and them. You are the supreme. Yeah. One of the highest elevation, the uppermost. And into the, the words, the, the, the highest, the supreme, the uppermost, watch this, came down to the lowermost. Mm. And God for years has taken care of us. Day by day, by day, by day, by day, as far, Henrietta, as you and I can remember, he doesn't tell us, I gotta stay here, Jordina, because somebody's not catching him. He doesn't say how many years, as far as you and I can remember. When I called on him, when I needed him, he was there. And here's what messed me up about the text. Even when I didn't say nothing, come on, God still there. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Watch this, watch this, and I gotta go. Roger, I gotta go. 
watch this, years include the times I didn't call on him. Mm -hmm. I didn't petition him. I didn't cry unto him, Christina. Years, I remember the right hand of the Most High kept us. His right hand cared for us. He looked after us. He watched over us. I hear Fred Hammond, we were blessed in the city. We're blessed in the fields. We're blessed when we come, and we're blessed when we go. I remember thy works, and so he moves from that to says, listen, I remember your works, God. As far as my mind can remember, he's an Old Testament saint, that Jehovah, Jehovah, the self-existent one, the eternal one, in other words, the psalmist is telling us, he's teaching us, and he's text testing us all his works. Somebody say all his works oh, were beyond human hands. Mm -hmm. Humans had nothing to do with him. He says, surely I remember your works of old. And so he went back, and I needed to go back to remember and remind myself that when I read the beginning of God's counsel and God's mind, the word says, Carlton, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and was void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And here's where I got to get to and shout the harvest over. And God said. Mm. Yes. What? And God said. Yes. And then God said. Are you reading the text? Yes. And then God said. And nothing stopped him. No one prevented him. No one That's stopped right. him. Whatever he said, Come he was able to go. I wish I had a church this morning. He Reverend. was able to perform. Yes, he God's got that kind of power. Yes. That when he speaks LP, Come on. he's able to do exactly yes. what he yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, lift him up. He says, I remember the works of your hand. Yes. On the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, and the sixth day. I go back and read that now. It sounds like old news, but it's good news. Then I got to keep reminding myself, Marcella, when I get down and when I think God hasn't answered my text, God hasn't, hasn't answered my voicemail, I got to remember God said. Come on. Remember. Remember that. The psalmist takes us back. This is old news, but it's good news, Hillary. Amen. He says, I remember when you delivered Israel, Amen. when Pharaoh and the Egyptians and their finest of chariots were pursuing Israel, and Moses stood at the Red Sea, and Moses threw in his stick, and, 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 and God parted the waters. See, there's nobody going to get moved by it because that's so old. That's so old, Pastor. Moses threw in his stick. But I got news for you. Come on, come that on. stick is not the issue. It's the person behind the stick. Come on. It's God who has the power. The are. stick was just the instrument. Come but on. when God threw it in the water and the water parted and the Israelites went on dry ground and the Egyptians said, we're going to follow through. And I thought for a moment, Marcella, why would the enemy try to walk with a promise God, God made, come on, Christina, and think it's going to work on them? What made them think they was going to walk on dry ground too? <laughs> when God is delivering his people. Pharaoh yeah. mm -hmm. and them lost their mind. No, they lost their life. All of them drowned. Yeah. And Moses declared, God told them, look back now. Yeah. Somebody needs to look back oh. now. Something or someone that was chasing you. You can look back now. They're not there no more. It's gone, baby. They're gone, baby. I was at a church this morning. You got to remember there's a next sea moment. In our lives. All right. All right. All right. Here comes the close. All right. Here's where the shouts should take place. Here's why I really was doing cartwheels. And God said, Pen this. Move from moaning to meditation of his miracles from the past. When I turn back to the text, in the 12th verse, watch what the psalmist does. I'm trying to get there with you. Watch this. He says, I will meditate. Yep. Hmm. Mm. Also on all thy work. And he says, I want to talk of you doing. Mm -hmm. Here we are. He says, I want to meditate. That means I want to sit down. Watch this. 
Watch this. I don't want you to miss this. At some point, we got to move from crying and complaining. And I, and I, I don't want to say this. I don't know if theologians are going to write me. And from praying. Yeah. You got to move from, from all the crying and the complaining. And sometimes God, God heard you. And sometimes you, you got to move from prayer because you may feel as though it's not working. And it's all right to move away from prayer. But here's what the psalmist says. Because he moved away from prayer. He moved away from crying. He moved away from complaining, Carlton. What's the text? Look at the text. He says, I moved to meditating. In other words, I sat down and I began to study mm. yes. and study and stay there and study. That means I gotta spend time. I gotta transition from mo from crying and complaining and sometimes praying to meditating, Ralph. I gotta sit down and study. I mean, diligently give some real seriousness looking into what God has already done. And he says, after I get done that, I wanna talk to somebody about it. I wanna talk to somebody about it. So, 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 what he's saying is, let me give you the transition into his testimony. And he says, listen, he has cried day and night. He has complained to God. His spirit was overwhelmed. He has lost sleep. And so that he troubled, he can't even speak no more. He's considered the days of old, years of ancient times. He has called to remember his song in the night, commune with his own heart, made diligent search, rhetorical questions. He already knew the answer to. He has heard nothing from God. He hasn't heard a response from God, but he made his discovery. And I remind you, you got to make your discovery That's right. that when God has an answer, he's simply telling you to move right. and on, meditate yeah. and on. think on the things that I've already done already and then done. talk about it. If nobody there but you, talk to yourself about it. Yeah. Sit there and study it all day long. And that'll move you from your crying. That'll move you from your complaining. And so I decided that we wanted to close like this. I needed to move. I needed to transition. I needed to trans my port, transport myself. Listen, you got to move, and I got to move from my problems. Move from your pain. Move from your pauses. That's and right. yes, move from some people. Come on. Move to his promises. Move to his praise. And then move to his peace. You'll find trouble and tribulation will turn to thanksgiving. You'll find doubt and despondency will turn to divine doings that God has already done. You'll find that your struggles have turned into singing, and your song shall be, How Great yes. Thou Art. You gotta stop from whining to what I don't have, and what I don't have, and what I don't have, and begin to worship God and think about what God has already given you. Tell yourself, God, if you don't do nothing else, you've already done enough. Hallelujah. From crying to complaining. Oh, that if he cares for the flowers and he cares for the birds of the air, how much more shall he care? I want to encourage someone for us. If you're watching the birds like I watch, I got plenty of them to see around where I live. And right about now, some of them birds are headed south. They already took off, Amanda. Gone. And God cares for them. You ever watch the rainfall and you see birds, and I don't want to get gross, birds picking up worms? Yeah. They, they carry them back to feed the babies. Mm -hmm. They don't need our help. Mm -hmm. If God cares for them, Marcella, how much more mm -hmm. shall he care for us who are his children? Mm -hmm. I need to help somebody this Come morning. Come on, keep talking. From feeling helpless to feeling, feeling helpless to feeling helpless, all you gotta do is think about yesterday. If you made it today, Come on. you know God took care of you yesterday. Yeah. Hallelujah. So I just want to close. Don't be weary in well-doing. You shall reap if you faint not. He that has begun a good work in you mm. shall complete it until the day yeah. Jesus returns. Yes. Watch this. And I turn to my, my, my picture in the, in, in the slide. Mm. Yeah. I'm up. I'm you now. I just want you to read it. I just want you, I just need you to read it. I don't want you, I need you to read it. God says it goes right there. Don't let what you see make you forget what I say. I don't care what you're looking at. You and I have to be persuaded that whatever it is we're looking at, God is able. He'll bring us through. He's never failed us yet. And I, I got the Old Testament, uh, Old Testament saint, uh, Gail, 
testimony if he brought us this far. He's not going to leave us. Come on now, somebody's been through the flood. You've been through the fire. When we had our meeting yesterday, y'all, I need to borrow your testimony for a minute because you gave confirmation to this word. We sat right here. And Earl, if you ever know him, you know him. <laughs> he gonna talk to you. Yeah. And he gonna talk to you. And he gonna talk to you. Right. And he gonna talk to you. Right. But what you said, bless my soul. Yeah. Yeah. He sat there, uh, 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 Christina. Mm -hmm. He said, you know, uh, I said, I see baby girl's birthday uh, is coming up in the week. He said, yeah, she be 35. That's how I knew Julian. He be, she be 35. <laughs> and he thanked God for Chuck and Josh mm -hmm. and you. And then he watched this, Roger. He said, you know what? This time last year. This time last year. Is anybody in the house? What about Ken? This time last year, Earl testified that, you know, Doc, I was laid up in the hospital. See, y'all ain't going to miss it. Last year. That's last year. That's last year. That's last year. Hallelujah. Oh, it's still here. Hallelujah. This year. See, you got to do that. You should be on your feet. Oh, it's still here. Hallelujah. My Hamilton, all oh, you've been through yesterday. Guess what? You're still here, baby. Today. Come on, whatever you've been through. Talk to me that Roger Teresa. Whatever you're going through yesterday, God's still here. Yes, he is. Come on now. Come on now. Skip. He's still here. Skip is still here. I'm gonna tell you the whole story. He's still, he's not, he's still here. You went through something yesterday. Keith, come on, Keith. You just did something from yesterday, but you're still here right now. I'm going to tell you, you've been through some stuff for a long time, but you're still here, too. He's able. Come on, you need to praise him. Hallelujah. You need to give him glory, God. He deserves it. He's able. We just need to remember what he's done before. He'll do it again. Let me borrow your testimony for a minute, bro. Henrietta called me and said, Earl, you're rushed to the hospital. I dialed up Jordina. I did. She won't mind me saying it. She said, Pastor, this time I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid. And I can hear the trepidation and the apprehension in her voice that, that her faith had been shaken. And we simply reiterated what we said now, that God has it. God has it. We cried together like she's crying now, and I'm about ready to cry. Because I remember that moment like it was yesterday. It was yesterday. But today, Earl was here. She said, I don't know what I would do without him. I know he gets on your nerves. I know he's where you've been. But it's Earl. Yeah. And the knowing is the loving. Yeah. yeah, he talk a lot. Yeah, yeah he'll interrupt your conversation. <laughs> but it's Earl. Yeah. Thank God he's still here. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that brother with you in your home. Yes. Yeah. 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 That was this is now. How he's won, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. look at him now. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Even when you brought him home. Oh. God is able. Yeah. All we're trying to say here is what God has brought us from yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Boo, you, I know you got a testimony yeah. that a few yeah. months ago, yeah. I ain't not telling the whole story, yeah. but now God has given you all that. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he has. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he has. Because you remember. Don't ever forget. Yeah. Karen, I remember seeing you a few weeks ago. Yeah. And now here you are in the sanctuary. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Here you are Hallelujah. in the sanctuary. I can 
Jesus goes through those because there's nothing but testimonies throughout the house. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yeah, there he is. Amen. Gigi, we've had our moment. Here we are, we've had our moment. Drew, we've had our moment. We can just go on down the list. You can call your own name. You had your moment. Nathan, you didn't make it 20 years. And I know Kim ain't here, but she's online. Amen. But by the grace of God. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, your marriage is a testimony, bro. That you, you desire to work through it. You don't always agree. I already know it. Yeah. He's nodding his head like, yeah. Amen. Yeah, it, it, that's relationship. Yeah, yeah. But when you work at it, it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it because God is in the middle of it. And we honor God by keeping our commitment. Amen. That's why these moments are important. We don't want to get past and let it go. Casey, I know you, you're missing Shelly, boo. I miss her too. <laughs> but it's worth it. She's on a worthy call, a worthy journey. It's all God sent it. Uh, and keep all of the family together. Yeah. Keep us yeah. all in prayer. Yeah. Because somebody's having a difficult time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Somebody's going through something. Yeah. Right. And I just stopped by to say that the psalmist is telling us that you need to meditate. Right. That you need to move from your crying yeah. and your complaining mm -hmm. and your pray. Whoa, come, come on. on. Come Somebody's going to write me call to yeah. on that one. you got to move from your pray. He's heard you. But then go to meditate. In other words, if you stay there, you're going to keep crying, you're going to keep complaining, and you're going to keep praying. And somebody said, well, Paul says, Pastor, pray without ceasing. Yes, that is true. But the psalmist is also teaching us you can still pray and move with us. Come on. And then transition into meditation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Anyhow. Come on. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You just tell the devil hallelujah anyhow. Ty Trivia has a song. I'll be messing up my wife here, uh, uh, my mouth for what he's saying. Where he said, we gonna be all right. <laughs> but I got one line and two lines, I'm done. Don't you worry about it. Here my other line, Teresa. Ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. <laughs> We gonna be all. That's all I got. Come on. But it's good enough. Cause when I hear those words, it tells me we gonna be all right. It's confirmation and affirmation that I ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. Then we gonna be all right. I ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. We gonna be all right. I ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. We gonna be all right. Don't you worry about it. Don't lose no sleep over it. We gonna be all right. I remember. It's going to be all right now. That's right. No matter how hard it gets. Amen. I would love nothing better, Roger, for Dan Ronnie to come home. Amen. 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 And there's nothing wrong with your prayers, your concern. Yes. That's part of the journey. Amen. But underneath of all of that, God has you in the hollow of his hand, and you're right. still the apple of his eye. That's right. He has never left you, nor forsake you. Yeah. Even with Damien. I want to know if they're watching at Coco and Paul, that God is still in control, yeah. that he has the final say. Yeah. And we thank him for the doctors and the nurses and the care, but ultimately, God. That's right. yeah. Mom Hamilton, I can't even tell the church half the stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not even half the stuff. Gigi, you know. Mom Hamilton is, is a walking testimony. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Just sit with her for a moment. You go to encourage her. No, she won't encourage you. Amen. When you find out and learn all she's been through. Yes. We call her Joe Beck. Yes. Yes. She's the female version of Joe. After another, after another, after another. Amen. And she's still standing. Amen. She's still smiling. Amen. She's still praising her God. Because she remembers. Amen. I'm out of time, but not talk. That's why we come together on Sunday morning. Right. Facebook family, I know that's a means for you, but there's nothing like being here in the sanctuary right about you now. It's heavy and it's thick in here. Because right now, 
the trail is Carlton are running through our minds that we remember God did. God yeah. can. Yeah. God came through. Yes. And he met our needs. Yes. And Ty Trivet has another song. If he did it before, yes. he'll do it again. Yes. So I ain't going to worry about it. Come on. <laughs> Lose no sleep over it. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. That's all I got. <laughs> We're going to be all right. Yes. Yes. Somebody sent the most of us. Or even on the Facebook line. Sean, I did reach out to Brother Pendleton last week. Or Brother Overton. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I did. He put his number. Yeah. And I called him. Yeah. And we chopped it up. Uh, and we God. talked about his salvation mm. and the God whom he loves. But he left. He says, Pastor, I just want to come back to him now. Yeah. Mm. I made some mistakes. Yeah. I, I erred. Mm. And I want to know, yes, he still loves you. Yes. Oh, brother Overton, if you're online, yes. 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 And, and even if it ain't brother, somebody here or somebody online, is there room at the cross? Yes. yes. It doesn't matter where you've been, what you've done, yes. yes. He wants you to come home. Yes. 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 Mm. 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 Mom, Sandy. Teresa Roddy, Henrietta, I, I don't know, I do know that when y'all select the songs, God has already spoken, yeah. and somehow you all and him <laughs> coordinate yeah. all the songs that, that fit right into the message. I, that's just him and y'all. I, I got to do it. But somebody needs to change. Somebody needs to know how great is our God. Eyes closed, head back. If that's you in here or you're online and, and you want to come uh, and surrender your life to Christ, that you want to put up a white flag and say, say, Pastor, I'm here. I'm letting go of my will and submit to his will. There's an equal exchange or an unequal exchange here. He'll take all your sin. Yes, he will. He'll take all your flops and flaws and flounders and mess-ups and mistakes and he'll give you his grace and his mercy. Yes. Because his son's blood already has pleaded your case. Yes. You can be set free. Yes. You can be healed. Yes. You can be delivered. Not, not, not tomorrow, but right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. And just get up from where you are and turn 180 and walk towards God and leave the sin behind. Come on. Somebody is like Brother Overton. Thank God for his testimony and his witness. Yes. They just want to come back home. Come back to God. The prodigal has returned. And I said with him that the scripture said, the father never gave him a list and argued, where you been? I told you so. You shouldn't have went. Who told you? I tried to tell. None of that happened. He just simply embraced him fell on his neck, Hallelujah. kissed him, and said, get a roll, prepare the fattest cat. My son who was lost is now found. Him who was blind now sees. And just come on home. Or maybe you're looking for a church home. Residence with him or a structure, a place. Where it's not the brick and mortar, it's the people in the place. That's right. <coughs> we promise to embrace you right where you are. Mm -hmm. We promise to encourage you right where you are. And then finally, we, have, we will promise you to equip you right. with, the, with the journey and on the journey, not only with the word of God, but with our presence in your life, and we can block arms, walk together, and we can walk down this road of life together in the name of Jesus. That's why we're here. If that's you, slip us a line. If somebody's here and they haven't done it, walk down the aisle and meet me or wait till after church. I'll be glad to talk with you. But don't let this opportunity pass. You've been carrying that load too long. You've been burdened too long. 
The chains, here we go, Mom Sandy, are about to fall off. Come on. The feathers are about to let you go. The shackles are ready to be loosened. Aren't you ready to run free? In the name of Jesus. Let me say this and I'll, I'll pray us out. The Christian walk is not peaches and cream. Pastor, you said if I come to Christ that I won't have any troubles. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is you will have trials. You will have tribulation. But Jesus declared, be of good cheer, right. for I will overcome the world. Oh, yeah. You're going to have troubles, but you'll get the peace in the midst of the trouble. You'll get the calm in the midst of the trouble. You'll have a family in the midst of the trouble. Yeah. And God will continue to be with you. He'll bring you through the trouble. That's right. Yeah. I don't want to fool you or tell you something that is not in his word. But you have an advocate with the Father who sits by his right hand on his right side who's already paved the way. In the name of Jesus. Shall we stand to be dismissed? Father, we thank you now for what our eyes have seen. Our ears have heard. Your word is clear today that we shall remember. That's why John P. Key was praying, I shall not forget. And don't let what we're looking at cause us to forget what you have said. That's right. Not only what you said, but what you've done. Now unto him who was able to keep us from falling, present us fallen before his throne with exceeding joy. To him, the only wise God, our Savior, majesty, dominion, power, now and forevermore, in all the remembering saints, together we say amen. 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 Give the Lord a hand. Praise be oh, God. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. amen.